Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is Dark Crusade back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to compress your video qual like compress your video. Sorry, I can't talk today. Sorry, sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm going to be showing you how to compress your videos file size. As you can see, this video here is 141 megabytes. This is the video I previously rendered in my Vegas Pro 15 tutorial that I uploaded a few hours ago. If you want to go check that out, go ahead. Uh, we're going to be using this file. So what you're going to need is a VLC media partner, which is a free open source media partner, which I'll provide the free download in the description from the actual site. So let's get into it. Just going to open up VLC media partner. You want to go to media at the top. Go down to convert slash save. Make sure the file tab is ticked, which it should be on default. You want to go over here and hit add. And go to wherever the file may be saved, which is on my desktop. I'm going to click untitled. And then you're just going to leave this as default. Come down here and hit convert slash save. And then this will probably be blank on yours. If you're doing if this is your first time doing this excuse me guys sorry <clears throat> but this may be blank if it is just hit the drop down arrow pick the top one and you're ready to go and just leave the rest as default except come down here destination file this is where you want to save your file or rename it just hit browse I'm just going to put it on my desktop so I'm just going to name it um dark souls just name it dark souls and this will be a mp dot mp4 so backspace the wmv just put dot mp4 and then just hit save and then you're pretty much done guys all you need to do now is hit start and as you can see down here the scrubbing bar will start to go up in the amount of time how long the video is which is three minutes and ten seconds so yeah I'll be back when this is almost halfway done so yeah
Alright guys, I'm back. As you can see, it is now done. So we can close out a VLC now. And right there is the file we just created. And here's the original file, which was 141 megabytes. And the new file has dropped down to 63.6 megabytes. That is a little over half of a drop in file size, which that is really good for this method. Which there is other programs you can use, such as Handbrake, but I've always found this method very helpful. It's always helped me out when uploading my videos to YouTube and such and such. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Dr. Sage signing out. Peace.